Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Sciencey. In this video today, I'll be telling you about a new AI model, which is by Google and it's called Gemma 3. So this Gemma 3 model is a lightweight and it's state of the art open models, which is built from the same research and technology that powers up Gemini 2.0. You can also try Gemma 3 in Google AI Studio, which I'll be showing you at the last, which in which you can add the prompts and then you can see how this model delivers it or how does it answer it. So you can have a look at it. So I'll be telling you all about this model. So stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss anything regarding it. So this model, first of all, the context window is 128K, which is 128,000, the token count. You can go global instantly. Means you can communicate effortlessly across languages with Gemma 3's unparalleled multilingual capabilities okay so this model has multilingual capabilities means you can develop applications also that reach a global audience in which it has support for over 140 languages so you can build applications with support for over 140 languages so it can understand words and images also so you can easily build applications that analyze images text and video in which it opens up new possibilities for interactive and intelligent systems or applications you can see so it can handle complex tasks means the 128 context window it lets your application process and understand vast amounts of information which enables more ai capabilities also and first of all if you have a look here at the chatbot arena the ELS score for gemma 3 so this gemma 3 model it's a lightweight. Why I said this model is lightweight? Because this model has just a size of 27 billion parameters. So just 27 billion parameters this model has been created. And you can see here the score of it. Even it has beaten DeepSeek V3, O3 Mini also, Llama 3 405B, Mistral Raj and Gemma 227B. So all these models you can see here that it has beaten and you can see here the score of it. 1338 ELO score you can see you can also start building with Gemma 3 means you can use this model to start building applications you can go to hugging face you can get started with Gemma using hugging face transformers library you can also use Kira's and Olama also if you want to run it on Olama so you can use this also and even Jax also you can use it so you can use any of these if you want to get started and you can also advance research with Gemma. So there's also a growing collection of specialized Gemma models for advanced research. You, you can use all the models also. First there's Shield Gemma 2. So this is a solution for image safety in which it outputs label across three safety categories. So the labels are the output of it. So they'll see whether it's actually safe or not. And the second is the Poly Gemma 2, which is you can easily fine tune the vision capabilities to the Gemma 2 language models in which you can enable a wide range of applications that combine text and image understanding. And the third is Data Gemma which is the first open models designed to connect LLMs with extensive real world data, which is drawn from Google's data commons. Scrolling down, you can even visualize the Gemma 3 benchmark. So if you have a look at the score of Gemma 3 across the range of benchmarks, so in GPQA diamond, it's 67.5 for 27 billion parameter. Okay, so you can choose sizes for Gemma 3 either you can choose 1 billion parameter if you want you can use 4 billion also you can use 12 billion or 27 billion it's up to you so you can use across the range of it in GPQA diamond you can have a look at the score in MMLU Pro you can have a look at the score and even live code bench you can see and then after that it's there is bird SQL so you can see it's 54.4 and even there's simple QA so here you can have a look at the score for simple QA and facts grounding. So you can see here in facts grounding, 12B wins. So in math, so let's see who wins. In math, the Gemma 3, 27 billion parameter wins. In hidden math, so here you can see Gemma 3 wins. And MMMU, so you can see here Gemma 3 wins. So these are some of the benchmarks in which there is Gemma 3 and the score of it is there. 
so you can have a look at it you can choose your development target also either you want to deploy with google edge on device means on mobile phones or you can even integrate seamlessly into web applications you can scale effortlessly with cloud infrastructure so here you can see there's the option for deployment so you can deploy it also And if you want to accelerate the academic research with Google Cloud Credits also, so you can click here, apply now, so you can accelerate your scientific endeavors, like such as the research also. So the selected researchers will get the Google Cloud Credits also. So I'm here at another website also. In here also, they're telling about the overview for the model, such as there's image and text input. So you can start building and it lets you input images and text to understand and analyze the visual data okay so you can give images and input but the output that you will get will be only text so the output is not images or videos so input you can give the images and text but output it will be text and 128k there's token context means till 128k token context you can give the prompt till 128k so it has wide language support means you can work in your language also or you can expand your AI applications language capabilities with support for over 140 languages. And it has developer friendly model sizes also means you can choose a model size such as 1 billion, 4 billion, 12 billion and or 27 billion. Any one size that you can choose that works best for your task. And you can download the Gemma 3 models from Kaggle and Hugging Face. So you can download the Gemma 3 models. So here I'm at Google AI Studio. And here you have to like select the model. Either you want to select Gemini 2.0 Flash or any model that you want to choose. You have to choose it here. So I'm here choosing Gemma 3 27 billion. Okay, so I chose this. And let me click on this one. Let me click on the suggested one first that which number is bigger let me search this one okay so it's asking the same question that what is bigger 9.9 .9 or 9.11 so let's see which one it says okay so let's see okay 9 has said since 9 is bigger than 1 9.9 .9 is larger so here it says the answer is 9.9 .9 is bigger than 9.11 which is actually correct and chat gpt gives the wrong answer and let me give some more prompts to it i'll paste this question that how many hours in the word strawberry so let me paste it and let's click on run so let's see whether it gives the correct answer okay so it says there are three r's in the word strawberry okay okay the answer that it gave is correct but i don't know it didn't give the reasoning it didn't give that much great okay, let me ask one more question that can you translate this okay, let's see whether it translated or not okay, let's see if this is some other language okay so this question it refers to translate to have you returned or are you back in english okay let's translate one more sentence let me ask some more question that can you translate this sentence okay but let's ask so let's run let's see what does it say okay so this is the same sentence which was translated to english but it was in another language i think it's in i don't know in which language is it but it's some other language and you can see here how much token count has been used for the content generation you can see here this also you can see this let's see whether i can give an image to it or no so because they say that it takes image input so whether it does or no so i added an image and here it says that the current model does not support image i think in the chart it does not support the images but if you build it so it might support images but here it says it's not supporting the image also the model that i've selected is gemma 3 and 27 billion parameter but in their website they said that they support it so if you like this video do like subscribe and do tell me whether you think this model is a great model or not so that's all from my side catch you next time bye bye